Welcome back to Babe's Art Class. Today we're going to do a beautiful, abstract, very colorful and energetic floral. Uh, but before we start on that, I want to show you the results of the last video I did on the beautiful peacock. You can see all the colors and the shine and the cells. See the beautiful cells, the eyes of the peacock feathers, and what we did is we actually put in the body after it dried. We did some embellishment afterwards and we worked on the eyes of the feathers. If you're interested in this piece, you can go down to the description and look up my email, and I'd be happy to send it to you before I put it on Etsy. And also, if you like the type of content I'm doing, make sure you hit subscribe and the notification bell, and you'll get all my new videos. But I started preparing the canvas. This is a 10 by 20. And I used a base of white with a little bit of cerulean blue. A little bit of cerulean blue. And I spread the paint on thin because I'm going to be adding a lot of paint to this canvas. As you can see, I have all these colors out. And what I'll do is I'll tell you what the colors are as I go. But I have various shades of coral, pink, lavender, blues, and greens, and red and gold. So the first thing I'm going to do is put in the base. I'm actually drawing right now, or painting, I should say, from the tubes. So I'm going to be going to fill this in and I'm going to swipe it with the palette knife. And you don't have to be too perfect with this. Because we're going to be adding a little bit of embellishment to our pottery, just a little. So there's a basic pot. And then I'm going to start out, the first flower is going to be a red rose. And I'm going to put in two of those, one down here. Sometimes you gotta use a sharp point to open up your bottle. Okay. Here's one rose, and here's another rose, and I'm gonna swipe around the color with my small palette knife. So I have some pink tourmaline that I'm going to put in this rose as a dark because we always need more than one shade of color. And on this one, I'm going to do the same. Take the palette knife. When you're doing roses. You make circular motions that circle out and come back to the center. Circle out, circle out, come back to the center, come back to the center. And then I'm actually going to add a tiny bit of white. Okay. And 
just use the palette knife just to blend it in a little bit. Okay, there's two red roses. And the next thing we're going to do is a beautiful coral rose with some lavender. And I have some coral in my little cup that I mixed. And all my paints are mixed. Two parts paint, four parts Floetrol, and one part water. So with this, I'm going to make a coral rose. When you're putting flowers in a composition, you don't want them all facing the same way. It's good to have some facing out and some facing in. Okay, so in this one, I'm using a little bit of lavender. as the shadow color. So I think it complements the coral beautifully. Just gonna go over it again a little bit more with the coral. Just drawing little lines with it. Circle out to the side and come back to the center, just like with the roses, the red roses. Okay, so I think I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger be like our feature, our feature flower. I'm in love with this coral color. It's actually called, it's actually called Pink Melon and it's folk art. It's a beautiful color. And the next flower we'll make, we're going to make A flower that is coral, and I'm using fire opal. And if you can see the way I kind of um, just like I said before, circle out and come back in into the center. And we're going to add some coral to that. This really complements each other nicely. Fire opal and the, the coral, the pink melon. Okay, you can go back in and play with your flowers as you're, as you're going. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add in some leaves and I'm using a nice green color, a festive green, and I'm going to be putting a little bit of blue in my leaves and this limey green. It's called lime sherbet in my leaves. Let's put a nice big leaf off of this 
big row here. I'm just going to fill in with the paint, and the paint will do its own thing. And the same thing with leaves. You don't want them all facing the same way either. And if you decide to try this, you can use whatever colors you want. Put however many leaves you want in. Make it your own design. Okay, this one down here needs leaves too. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put in some lilac type of flowers. And it's pretty easy. You basically do dots. And we'll go in and manipulate it a little bit. Some there. Put some up here. And then down. I love lilacs. I think they're so beautiful. And while I have this color out, I'm also going to put some mum type of flowers. Or asters. If you'd rather call it that. I'm not exactly sure what it's called. I should know. But they're very pretty. And you, you're using energy when you're painting. Not worried about anything being perfect. Okay, and for contrast on these purples, we're going to use, this is called Neon Violet. And I'm just going right over asters or the mums and the lilacs. And I'm going to put a little bit of this blue on the leaves because leaves actually do have a lot of different colors in them. They're very reflective of light. And I'm going to use this lime sherbet that is one of my favorite colors. And I'm going to take my small palette knife and just kind of swirl these together a little bit. The lilacs. And I'm going to kind of swipe over the leaves. Just a little bit, just to get it, give it a little bit of a mix there. And the more paint we have on the canvas, more the white tends to 
swallow up the color. That's why we don't want too much paint on the canvas. And right here, I gotta take some of this off. Because the end of my leaf looked too blunt. I want it to look more graceful, even though it's an abstract. And then I'll pick up a little bit of that base color and just drop it in over that. Okay, so let's see how we're doing. Gonna add some blue. Blue flower similar to the lilacs. few different places. And I'm going to put a little bit of the purple over blue color and that just makes a different shade of lilac and I do this when I do my hydrangeas too because hydrangeas have a lot of colors in them blues lavenders pinks Oh, this is looking pretty. Okay, put another leaf in down in here. And I already have a little blue in there because of the background, so I'm not going to add blue to this one. Mm. Okay, and if you see something that has dripped or dropped into your painting, you just go right in and scoop it out. green blob and the beautiful coral colored flower. We didn't need that. Okay, so how we're doing? Let's take a look at this. Oh, this is really pretty. So colorful. I want to do some a little bit of spiky leaves up here. With some roses, little roses, little white flowers. Okay, and then we can go in with, I'm going to go in with the pearl color. Drop in some of these flower, white flowers. 
I'm going to add gold to the white flowers because they need some, you know, they need like highlights and shadows also. So I'm going to use the white for that, I mean the gold for that. And you can add the gold to one part of your white flower. I like to put it at the bottom. Just kind of dab it in there. Oh, that's pretty. I like that a lot. Okay, so let's put some of that running down over the vase. Just dab on your green leaves. And then we'll add in our white flowers. Maybe some gold. that out a little bit. I'm going to add some seams or ribs to the pot to give it some interest. I have some copper. Put it on the outside also. Put it on the edge. Okay. Okay, so let's go back. I'll just kind of go over anything. It looks like it could be blended a little bit. These white flowers really expanded. So I'm going to drop, I don't see the white. So let's drop a little bit of white on each one. Okay, this is pretty colorful, pretty dramatic. Um, I think that we're done. I think we're done. So I think we could use some, some white drop 
drops on our lilacs. And these white drops will settle in. Okay, so last, I'm going to just go into my roses and just pull out a couple of highlights. Okay, we're going to hit it with the torch. We've got some nice cells coming up in the green and the purple. 